Well, we are now joined by our very first guest on Attacking Third. It is an honor. We did not have to think too hard about who we wanted to be our very first guest. A legend of the game on the U.S. Women's National Team, co-founder of Bay FC, Brandy Chastain. It is an absolute honor to have you on our first. It is an honor to be with you, ladies. I, I love seeing um, all these intelligent women leading the conversation about soccer. So this is great for me. Just Thank to get straight me. into it, Brandy, your penalty kick moment is what you've talked about for many, many years now. And I just want to talk about how that moment has influenced the growth of the game throughout and, and what we see today with our women's national team. Well, I think there's two ways to look at it. I think one is just the external, outside of the normal soccer fan um, spectrum and how many people have been drawn in by that, that World Cup, not just by the moment, but just the enormity of the 90,000 plus people at the Rose Bowl and and the ripple effects that that game had uh, going forward. Can't tell you how many times I've spoken with people about how they got involved with soccer for the first time, whether that's in coaching, whether that's in fandom, whether that's in playing. And it, it's just, it, it makes me so happy every time I hear it. I think in terms of uh, the game itself, I think globally, it, it really took uh, federations and FIFA to look at the value of women's football and to see that they have grossly undervalued this great resource that, it, that it's had for so long. And even though we're not where we want to be, we are, we're edging closer to the place that we deserve to be. The game is growing, Brandy, with now 32 teams yep. headed to the World Cup, and we are just days away from the opening ceremonies. It has to take you back to 99. How does leading up to this World Cup um, bring you back to those moments right before the 1999 World Cup? I'm nervous as hell. I'm, not <laughs> um, I, I, I'm very excited. I'm excited and I'm nervous, and I'm, you know, I, I'm just anticipating every match. I've already. I was literally up at like 3.30 this morning. I went to the FIFA website. I looked at who's up, what time the games are, and I'm planning my life around this World yeah. Cup, and I can hardly wait to get there yeah. in, uh, for the semifinal and final in Sydney. So uh, there's, I, I'm so excited for the teams that have not been there before. I watched the last few games, um, uh, you know, Panama, Haiti, uh, Zambia, you know, all, all these teams who are going and just, mm -hmm. you know, the exaltation that that happened when the final whistle blew and, you know, how amazing they must be feeling right now uh, about being on the precipice of their first ever World Cup. And then I think about also the 14 players of the U.S. national team who have never been to a World Cup. And what is the different storylines between those two uh, entities, right? That 14 and all those teams that haven't been there. So I think there's a lot of great stories that we're about to learn about and a lot of great players that we're about to see. Yeah, if you're getting up at 3.30, you're going to be able to watch all of them live, Brandy, so you're in the right. <laughs> I do not I do not even need an alarm clock. Like, I am strictly wired for women's soccer all the time, so I am going to be up. We love to hear it. Brandy, you have one of the most iconic moments in not just women's soccer history, but in the history of soccer. And it's something when I was a kid, when I watched the 99ers World Cup, I went outside and was replicating with all of my teammates and it really, it inspired my playing career. You know, I'm such a fan. Who do you see on the US seeing an iconic moment or living up to those moments that um, you see that potential happening? Who on the roster? Uh, you know, I think we have to shout out uh, Sophia Smith. Mm. Uh, I think she's going to be a next factor for us. I, honestly, I think she's going to have to score a ton of goals. Mm -hmm. um, I think this this tournament defending is going to be something that we have to put as our number one priority, and I'm not sure that that's where our head's at mm -hmm. uh, or our game plan is. So, you know, we're going to have to score a lot of goals. Uh, she is quite talented. Obviously, you know, I got to see too much of her um, <laughs> sitting on the sideline at Santa Clara University when she played <laughs> at Stanford, but, um, you know, she is a talent. She's mm -hmm. kind of a one in a generation of talent. And I look forward to her making big strides and making a big impact. I think she's got the right disposition. She loves scoring goals. She gets into the right places. She can run past people. She's comfortable with the ball at her feet. She can finish with full feet. So 
honestly, I think she's going to make a huge difference. I think Naomi Gurma, you know, in the less sexy position of mm -hmm. center back, um, you know, organizing and having that calm and that composure. She's very intelligent. You know, she comes from my hometown, so she knows she's full of greatness. Um, <laughs> and so, um, you know, I think those two players are really going to be big impact players for the U.S. Yeah. And the fact that they're young players is obviously speaking to the future, but they have to step up big right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you